like that. Well, it doesn't seem that long ago that Jeff Bosch, she was drained through. He's in a Final Four game or winning Big 12 Tournament MVP honors as a freshman at KU. Yeah, it seems like he could still be a kid. Well, he's not. In fact, he's always knew, known he's wanted to become a coach. And after playing two seasons of pro ball overseas, he settled into that ambition. And he settled in quite nicely at the Barstow School. I pick 13 as a coach. Shane Rudman shoots threes. Where's the number 13? And is a diehard KU fan. He's coached by Jeff Boshi. Pretty awesome to see. I haven't seen him on play, playing and stuff, and now he's coaching us. The new Barstow coach has inherited a squad full of admirers. Huge KU fan. Pull up your jersey, poster, pull back. So when I went to my first KU camp, I think it was 2000, um, I actually bought one of his jerseys there, and I actually found it the other night. It's a kid that's extra small. <laughs> I actually thought that being a KU fan. And even if you weren't a fan before, all the nights are now. We're freaking good. Yeah, they're 10 and 1. I didn't expect to be 10 and 1. I couldn't really go any better than this. Definitely bought into it after the first couple wins. You know, we figured out that he knows what he's doing and he knows how to get stuff done. We've had one loss in our one loss to a 5 8 team out of Springfield, Missouri. Uh, we beat a couple 4 8 schools. And, um, you know, for these guys, that's pretty big. So I don't think it's happened here for me in quite a long time. It's Boshi's first head coaching job. After spending two years on the bench, at Blue Valley Northwest under Ed Fritz. Yeah, I think the biggest thing I learned from him is, is intensity. You know, our case, a lot more than in previous years. Oh, how many times have I told you that? Just three! Uh, he's tough, he's focused, uh, motivated, likes to win. I don't want to talk! You talk! He's a long way from the big schools now. Yeah, it, was, it was different. We, walked, uh, we played uh, in Wheaton, Missouri. And I've never heard of people as we walked in, there's three rows of bleachers on each side. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you got uh, Billy Bob on one side of the court and his overalls and his great railroad hat. <laughs> I don't know what team we were playing, but um, we weren't doing too well. And he came in after, uh, after halftime, he came into the locker room, and he just simply wrote trash shoes up on the board. And uh, one of their players was wearing trash shoes, and uh, that's all he had to say. The nice. Knights could also use track shoes at times. Yeah, I see that. I guess we kind of call it a boot camp. <laughs> we do do a little bit of running during practice. Uh, I think they've got a point because uh, one game, I told them to stand up every time somebody comes out of the game or whenever a, a good play happens, to stand up and shoot for them. And every time I saw something, I told my assistant to write down a little tally. So we had 24 tallies the next day in practice. We had to run 24 33s. Yeah, so Bart goes off and running in the bow sheet. We're doing KU offense, KU drills, and the best part so far is KU results. It's a lot of fun. It's unbelievable. And I can't really even put it into words. Well, this is easily the best start these current players have ever had. Take a look at Barstow basketball the past few seasons. Getting better, at least since that wretched 03-04 campaign. The Knights won the 1995 state championship. This year in that same type form, although the schedule does now get tougher. The Knights 10-1 for 11 games so 